Hey guys, Marley here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you something brand spanking new because today we are starting a hardcore survival Minecraft series. Um, if you're here on my channel for The Sims only, that is fine. We will catch you in the next video. But I've been wanting to make this video for a long time because this is content that I genuinely enjoy on YouTube um, and it's something that I used to watch all of the time and now people aren't doing it as much anymore so I want to hop back on the trend and do it myself you know they say you should create content that you would want to see and that's what I'm doing I've been watching Brenny Beast on Twitch do um, his hardcore series he's reviving it like five years ago he had this hardcore survival series that I fucking loved, man. Um, and so now I'm doing my own. Thank you for the inspiration. I totally stole this idea from him. So if you want to check out a seven-year-old channel or his Twitch streams, go ahead and do that. It's just at Brenny Beast. And if not, I hope you can stick around. So we are uh, gathering some wood. This is in hardcore mode. If you don't know what that means, it means that basically um, if you die, you're dead. Like if you die, the world gets deleted. You can never go back. So you have to work very, very hard not to die. Also, I heard that they added in single player worlds, they're now connected to like a private server. I hate that. My single player worlds were the only thing in this game that was not laggy enough to use. And I feel like now it's going to mean that my single player worlds are also laggy. Um, so let's just have fingers crossed that's not happening. Hopefully I can change it in the game settings. I might look into it. Also the usual warning, if you hear any background noise, I have a dog, she's seven months old. She's very rambunctious and I can't control her. So she might just be making noises and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, this skin that I'm using, I designed on my cell phone when I was 13. So don't mind it too much, but it is better than using the default skin, I guess. But it looks very much like e-girl anime skin which um you know i don't mind anime but that's really not my brand uh it doesn't matter it's still what it is i also i know that a lot of simmers when they do minecraft videos it's like trying minecraft for the first time and they don't know what they're doing at all and they're just like running around making a joke out of it i actually really enjoy minecraft so i um have a pretty good idea of what i'm doing in this game even though i've never recorded it in my free time i play minecraft a lot so don't expect this to be, um, you know, like a video of me running around and having no idea what's going on because it just won't be. I will say that I haven't played a lot with the newest updates. So pretty much like 1.8 was the last time that I really played. So all this new combat and stuff isn't my strong suit. Damn, are you going to die or what? Okay, finally. Um, so all this new combat and everything isn't really my strong suit, but... I still know the basics enough to get things done as opposed to someone who's never played the game before and just kind of runs around aimlessly. Now let's see if we can get some stone, get some stone tools going. I'm going to go back up and pretty much kill that whole family of pigs um, so that we can get things going. We're going to need food. Um, leave a comment down below right now at this video. I'm about nine minutes into this recording. Leave a comment down below telling me what you think I will die to first. If you guess correctly, maybe I'll do some kind of game. Like if you guess correctly, I'll give you a Sims 4 stuff back, but you have to leave, um, leave a comment with the timestamp and telling me what you think I'll die to first, because I definitely don't think that we will be able to do, like stay on this one world. I definitely am gonna die a few times before we really get a world going. I think my first death will be to, I don't know, it might be to a skeleton. Maybe. Those little fuckers, they really get me, especially when the game's laggy like this. Um, but if not that, probably a creeper. We're gonna have a death to a creeper or fall damage. That's another one that I'm very guilty of. Where did I put my crafting table? Okay guys, so I've got quite a bit of food. I have collected a little bit of wood and now I am going to try and find a cave. Although if I can't find a cave, I will just dig down and strip mine. Um, you can see my render distance is turned way, way down just to try to help a little bit with the lag I'm getting. The putting Minecraft solo servers, ugh, it, it really just bugs me because as you can see, like it's making the game very difficult for me. I think that we spawned in the middle of an ocean on an island, I hate that. That's the worst possible spawn we could have gotten. Fuck this world already. But um, I'm gonna try my best to find a cave anyway. 
All right guys, after running around for a pretty long time, I'm having no luck finding a cave. I'm gonna dig straight down and hope that I don't die. I did find a swamp biome, so that's really nice um, to be able to get slimes later, but swamps also mean witches, and I really am not capable of dealing with that right now. I need to get down, get some torches so that mobs don't spawn on me. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. We just started this world. We can always start a new one. I'm digging straight down, no regrets. I just heard a bat too, which means that we might be close to something. So I definitely heard mobs this way. I heard skeleton, I heard zombie, um, and I'm not able to find where they are. Oh, is that? Nope. Um, so I'm still just like digging around trying to find out where the mobs came from. Shit. Did that not hurt me? Nice. Um, and just being super careful because the mobs will definitely kick my ass right now. They are on hard mode. Uh, okay, so here's the cave. I definitely hear a skeleton. I don't just wanna jump in there. Okay, so I picked up all my food. I actually took a peek down there and it looks like that that, uh, that, that is going to be a dead end into some water. So I'm actually not gonna go down there. I'm gonna try to work my way back up and go the other direction that I saw, which might be more fruitful. I still hear mobs running around, but I haven't seen one yet. Um, my plan is to kind of just avoid it as long as possible, honestly. Like, that's not the most entertaining content, but to be honest, I don't know that I can really survive that. It kind of seems, like, pointless when you have no armor and no, like, enchantments, like, nothing. Okay. So, I think that there might be more caves this way. Um, what have you guys been up to lately? I've been trying to branch out in my gaming repertoire. Typically, I am a one game kind of girl and I've been playing The Sims for a while now. Obviously, obviously, if you've watched my channel, you know that. But in my free time, I don't tend to branch out much. I basically play The Sims and Minecraft. Um, but recently, I've been trying out like Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster. I bought both of those games. And they have been very fun. There's just a bit of a learning curve on games like that. So I feel like I watch like Geekism and the Big Lit Planet channels. Um, and I'm like, wow, they're doing amazing things. And then I log on and I try and my builds look like shit. And then I don't wanna play anymore, which I shouldn't be so hard on myself, but it definitely does make it like, yeah, this is why I only play the two games that I know how to play. Aw, oh, shit, he's gonna kill me. This is the death. This could be the first death. Ugh. Lag, lag, lag. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I was in such a good spot before, and now I'm, I'm gonna die. I think my first death will be to, I don't know. It might be through skeleton. This is it. Ah. Okay, we're back. We have a new world. We are starting over. I'm going to do the same preliminary things and then I'm going to come back when we get into another cave. Um, this time, let's hope the lag doesn't take over and run me straight into a mob. I could have handled that situation better. This time we are growing, we are learning, we are evolving. And I do not want to die this time until I get some armor at least. All right, I'll be back. Okay guys, so we're still searching for some animals. I see what looks like a big tower of stone over here. So exposed stone is good. What the fuck is that? What are you? I have never seen you before. Hi, are you friendly? Oh, it's a bee. What happens if we punch it? Oh shit, it's angry. <laughs> Wait, is it gonna hit me? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, uh, my bad, dude. Damn. Okay, so leave the bees alone. Now we know for next time. Jeez. Okay, we have entered the Stone Age. Way to go. Also, um, so I don't have a desk anymore. Me and my boyfriend just moved recently, and we moved into a smaller apartment. We live in New York, so all the apartments are pretty small but we moved into one that's significantly smaller than our old apartment. Um, and so in moving, we had to give up some things. And one of those things is that I had to give up my desk. So if you saw how I was recording right now, I'm literally sitting like crisscross applesauce 
on a beanbag chair with a, I don't know how much of that got recorded. But what I was saying was I had to give up my desk. We recently moved to a smaller apartment. So I'm sitting crisscross applesauce and a beanbag chair with my laptop on a foldable like tray from college in front of me. It's not the ideal situation, but you do what you gotta do for the YouTube grind, man. That's all I have to say about it. Um, but no, it sucks. It sucks a lot. Also, we don't have any food. Sounds like there's someone at my door. Probably a package getting delivered, but my dog's gonna, my dog's gonna freak the fuck out. So if you hear my dog barking, she's just mad about something. Um, okay. So I want to make an axe as well. I need one more stone. And then we gotta find some food because we <laughs> lost a lot of health to the bee fiasco. Um, and without food, that can be bad for us very soon. Maybe this time I won't try to go underground as fast. Maybe that's where I made my mistake. Like I really wanna go get some iron. So finding a good cave in the beginning is helpful. Oh shit, that was dumb. But um, right now, definitely, can you pick that back up? Please, please, need, need shovel. Right now my priority is finding food. I think that if you swim in the ocean, you can kill the fish now to get fish. Maybe I'll try that. I haven't tried that before. Uh, do, 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 do. On the hunt for food. Is that a pig? Hallelujah. Found a pig. Come on, buddy. Oh, and he dropped two meat. God bless. Was there a point in Minecraft where all the animals dropped the same meat? Am I making this up? Because I feel like early, early Minecraft, there was a point where cows and pigs were like the only, cows, pigs, and chickens were the only friendly mobs and that they all dropped the same, or maybe not. All right, here we are, world three. We're trying again on that grind. Um, gonna do the same things that I did before. This time, hopefully find food faster. Also, not punch bees. That was a bad idea. I should have known that Mojang was on the side of save the bees, man. Where'd all the pigs go? There were literally like eight pigs right here, just like five minutes ago. Okay. Oh, but this one has a baby. I don't know if we should kill it. It has a baby. Uh, uh I need food. Fuck, 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 fuck. This video should just be called me fighting my shitty ass computer for 20 minutes trying to play Minecraft. Since I want to play it safe this time, I'm going to get two furnaces going before we reach a cave and cook my food and also cook the six iron I found so we can get, um, or 11 iron, so maybe I can get like a chest plate or something. Actually, am I going to, am I going to be able to do that? Because I don't have any coal and I need to save this to make torches. Okay, so we need to at least cook like three of these. And then after that, oh, sorry if I was cooking the camera. We need to cook at least three of these. Um, and then I guess not the iron. We need to find coal first. Gotta risk it to get the biscuit. So we're gonna find some coal first and then we will try to cook the iron and make some armor right away so that maybe we won't die in 10 minutes this time. This is world three and I've been recording for 48 minutes and I'm pretty sure 10 minutes of that were before I ever started the game. So that's sick. Definitely doing amazing. Um, I'm feeling just really like, like really intense today. I just watched a live stream for like six hours. I got really hyped to play Minecraft. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna be amazing. I'm gonna kick ass. This is gonna be the best world ever. And then I forgot how shitty my computer is and I forgot how bad the lag is when I try to record this game because this is not the first time that I've tried to record it. Um, and I thought the other times that it was just bad because I was trying to record on like a really crowded server. But no, this is a solo world and it's also still bad. Is that cold? Cold? No, am I blind? Yes. Wait. Oh, I hit lava. This is exciting. Um, can I have some cobble in my inventory? Jeez, what's that noise? 
Okay, let's do this and block this up and then let's try to get above it. Um, I don't know what the weird noise is. That might have been an Enderman, maybe. Also, the camera angle changed because I got really slouchy in my beanbag chair to get comfortable. So I had to move the camera down to match. Okay, where are we? We are in a lava cave. This is good because it means that um, it's a cave, but also that the, the light levels are pretty high, so there probably won't be a lot of mobs spawned in here. Okay, and it doesn't look like it goes on forever. We're still on the hunt for coal because we need to cook some things. Um, we're, we're, we're walking around Y14 right now. I, you know, I didn't really want to be strip mining because it's kind of boring, but it definitely is safer. We're at 26 iron, I, or 25 iron, and I think you need either like 26 or 29 for a full set. So we're definitely working towards a full set here. Okay, we're going through the pickaxes pretty quickly, so I want to start mining upwards. Maybe we'll hit a cave on the way up. Maybe not. I know you can't see anything on YouTube right now, so I don't want to keep talking here long, but um, I'm just going to start mining upwards. We haven't hit a cave yet. Oop, there goes another pick. And we don't have a lot of wood left. Actually, I think I left my crafting table back here somewhere. So I'm going to go back, find my crafting table, um, make a new pick, and then start mining upward. We have enough for almost a complete set. So we can at least get some armor going. I'm not as worried about getting tools right away. And then once we have some armor going, um, we can feel a little bit better and then try to actually find a real cave. So I'm going to work on that. All right, guys, almost died to gravel. Um, luckily, I pulled out my, uh, my shovel very quickly. But that could have been the end of world number three. That would have been such a stupid way to die. I'm really glad that I was quick on that. But I also found uh, four more iron so that we have enough when we get up to collect some wood and cook that and then get a full set of armor. Yeah, I know I almost died doing this like one second ago. Oop, and that's sand. So we want to be very, very careful getting out here because if sand starts falling on us, that will not be good good for us. Um, I almost just died to falling blocks like one second ago, so is it nighttime out? It is. So I don't really want to go out with mobs, but um, let's just take a peek and like see what's going on. Okay, that looks like a pretty good place to hide in here. So I'm going to run over here real quick. We've ended up in a desert somehow. I'm going to dig out a little like hole to hide in for a while um, until the night time is over and then I'll get back to you after I've waited out the night. Okay, so it is a turning daytime. I hear zombie pretty close, although I don't see him, but he should be burning now. So that's fine. Um, what we want to do is try to get out of this desert because we need wood. We need wood for everything we want to accomplish. So the desert is no use to me now. As you can see, I have my render distance turned way, 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 way down. I'm just trying to combat some of that like shitty computer lag that I have. Um, I do play and record all of my videos on a MacBook Air 2019, which is not optimized for gaming at all. But it's what I have, and you know, you do what you can with what you got. Um, I would like to upgrade my computer, but I just really have to save my money right now to like pay my bills. <laughs> And I'm not making as much as I used to be. Oh, does that give us sticks? That's fun. I didn't know that. Um, I'm not making as much money as I used to be, so I really have to be conservative. Or honestly, I would have already bought a new computer. If I guys, if COVID wouldn't have happened and I wouldn't like have gotten dead broke because of it, I would already have a new computer right now and I'd be so much better off. I think I want to get another laptop just because like I said, I don't really have a set spot to put a computer. I don't have a desk anymore. So a laptop works best for me, um, just so I can like transport it around my apartment. But I want to get a really good like gaming laptop, like put a couple thousand dollars in. You know, if this YouTube thing ever makes me a profit, like it might never. Um, that's fine. If it doesn't, I do it for fun, not for money. 
but if it ever did make me a profit, that profit would go to buying a new gaming computer so that I could make better YouTube videos because I really enjoy doing this, honestly. It's so much fun to me. I spend so much time working on these videos that like 20 people watch and I just love it. I kind of make it, it's almost like an anthology for yourself. An anthology of um, a diary of my life through what games I'm playing. Sick, we found a tree. I feel like we came back to the exact same spot we started. It's kind of poetic. We're going to cut down this entire tree and then, oh, yes, I hear you donkey. We're going to cut down this entire tree and then we're going to cook our armor. And I think once we have a full set of iron armor, I'm going to end this episode. Um, so I want to get that cooking. I also maybe want to put and build like a little cobblestone house, like nothing fancy, but we have tons of cobblestone. So we could do that. Maybe grab one more tree. Oh, wolves. I didn't know we were in wolf territory. Hi, guys. If I had some bones, I would get a dog, but I don't. They won't kill me, right? I don't think that they will. No, I don't think they will. I, I don't think being the keyword. They didn't used to kill you. All right. So I want to come right over here and build just like a cobblestone hut to live in for a little bit. Um literally just like four walls four walls and to keep me safe while i cook okay guys so i have been recording for an entire hour um we didn't get a lot done we're on world three but we did get to a point where all of our iron is cooking we are going to have a full iron set before this is over and then next time we'll be able to actually go caving if you enjoyed this video please give it a like please subscribe if you would like to see more content on this channel and if you hate me fucking tell me in the comments um i'll see you guys next time thanks for coming bye